All right, welcome guys, here we go. Uh, it is gonna be your first round of portraiture work. We haven't learned a whole lot about portraits yet, and that is okay. You're gonna see a little bit here today, and we're gonna go from there, so here we go. Follow along with me here. All right, welcome to the unselfie assignment. So you're taking selfies today. Yeah, it's your guys' favorites. And if you say you don't take selfies, you're lying. You can tell me and your friends, I don't do selfies, but you know, you're taking pictures of yourself all the time, and now it's time to be awesome at it. It's actually an assignment, so it should be kind of fun. Here we go, learning goal. Now, taking a portrait is not the main learning goal in this assignment, just so you know. Learn to understand story and how objects, actions, props, environments, and composition tell a story. You have a state learning goal, it's invent and discover to create. So, again, how do objects, your actions, props, which is another term for objects, environment, and composition all tell a story? All right. To do's. Oh, sorry. Success criteria. Student can create and tell a story, true or false, using symbolism and object meaning. All right. We're going to break that down here in these couple pictures here. To do's. The unselfie selfie, okay? Uh, some of this content on here, by the way, that is for when we actually have school in person, so don't worry about that. You have to be inside every frame. So every photograph you take, you, the photographer, have to be in it. So yeah, ha, there you go. If you're like, oh, I don't, oh, Mr. Riggins, I don't like selfies. I'm looking at the photos, not anybody else. Plus, it's an online class. We see your face all the time. Here you go. <clears throat> this is not a selfie exercise, so bring a tripod or alternative support. I'm gonna show you about supports in the demo. Compose, frame, and start the self-timer. Then put yourself into a photo in a meaningful and thoughtful way, okay? You need to shoot 50 photos. You're probably starting to see a pattern. I require 50 photos often whenever we do a photo shoot. Um, that's minimum. If I'm doing a big photo shoot, I'm gonna shoot way more than 50, by the way. You need to be in at least five different locations. So you have to move around. Now, this is an easy one. Advanced, if more than half are off campus. Well, you're not on campus. So that's, a, that's an easy A, as long as they're good photos. Must have a plan, a photo proposal, and explain what you hope to capture. So we're gonna have some time in our asynchronous time for you to create a plan what you want to capture, okay? We're looking for, or I am looking for creative composition, engaging imagery, advanced if story or concept or emotion is present, not necessarily in the model, by the way. You could be uh, stoic, but your environment has elements of emotion and story and um, concept. And advanced if action is captured. Good luck with that one. Okay. In addition, I'm looking for three rules of composition in your images. You get an advanced if four are present. Correct exposure for the shots. If not, it's an unsatisfactory grade. Advanced if your choice of background is unique and story developing. Um, lighting should be effective and illuminates the focal point. I'm going to show you how to use a window for that kind of lighting today. Uh, let's see here. Lighting is dynamic and evokes interest of emotion, or yeah, evokes interest of emotion. Lighting is unique and depth of field is used to emphasize the focal point. You need to use emphasis. Here's the deal, guys. If you use that app, Focus, again, not everybody has that app and that's fine, it is free. You're actually able to separate out you from the background and, and have some neat photo manipulation. You will be able to post process today. Okay, that is if we were editing in Photoshop, which we are not. Very sad. So, a couple things here. Let's see here, if I can zoom in here. Oh, look at that, right up there. So this is a picture of me and my son, okay? It is a selfie. I didn't use a selfie stick either, by the way. I uh, propped the phone on a branch and took the picture, so here we go. So let's look at some elements here. I don't know what color I'm using. Blue, perfect. So right here, I have this object and this object. Those are hats, typically worn in cold environments. And so that helps tell the story of what's happening. 
we are in a cold environment. Now, there's also little bits of snow falling that helps tell the story. If we were in class, I would show you guys how to edit snow into your photos. If you've got a way to do that, you're more than welcome to add that to your story, okay? Now, we also have a background that is full of trees that helps communicate a story that we are outside. You say, well, Mr. Riggins, was that intentional? Yeah, I took a picture intentionally outside. I didn't set up outside, I went outside, okay? Also, the colors are cold. Notice the skin tones, skin tones. Notice the environment back here are all manners of gray and bluish gray. So that's gonna help suggest cold. You can also make your photos in black and white for this if you wanted to, okay? This one here, let's say if you're like Mr. Riggins, uh, there's COVID outside and I do not go outside. I will get sick. Great, you can do this inside. All right, so take a look at this image here. This is also, I don't know if this guy took a selfie, highly unlikely, but let's pretend he did. So we have some objects here. We have a mug, we have a robe, and we have messy hair. What that tells me is that this person probably just got up from sleeping, okay? Um, I'm very, I've never stuck my tongue out like that when I have coffee. I'm very happy if I have coffee. I'm also happy when my phone interrupts my video, so that's great. Speaking of coffee, here we go. So, those are some details you can easily add. Dress up, add some elements into your photos to help me see detail. Notice the background's nothing. The background is just emptiness. Um, you can put a sheet up, you can photograph against the wall if you want that. We haven't talked about backdrops yet. We're just kind of making this work with what you have. Now what they did do, they edited, I'm gonna change the color here, this lovely yellow. They edited in drawings. I do not know of an app that allows you to do that, but I've also never tried. You could probably easily find an app that allows you to draw on photos or even putting emojis in there. You can help communicate story by putting in art or drawings or emojis if you wanted to, but don't overuse them. Sometimes they can be terrible. So use it sparingly, okay? All right, guys, here is a quick little demo. Uh, I just wanna show you some examples of unselfie selfies. Now, this is Christina Ortiz, I believe is her name. She's from Spain. And she made headway as a teenage photographer in high school, going, guess what? I'm the best photographer who's ever lived, and let me show you why. And she started producing a lot of artwork from her bedroom in front of her window by herself with things she had at home. And this is an example of that work. So uh, she did a series of fruit photos. That was some of the stuff that really blew her up into stardom. And then I'll show you some of our other ones. But these are all photos of her. It's all the same person and she's taking them of herself. Uh, you'll see these again in advanced photo. Uh, I typically use these a couple times a year. Okay, so you've got the lemon picture. Notice the prop of the lemon and the prop of the makeup. And uh, by the way, her eyes are brown. She photoshops her eyes to be blue. Uh, notice the little seeds and little eyelashes that also kind of look like the sun. Look at that. Lots of story through color and objects. Okay. Obviously, watermelon is the theme here. These are not overly complicated themes. They're really simple. I'm just gonna use a prop and I'm gonna use uh, makeup to make myself match that prop. Now, the story could be summertime, the story could be food, the story could be sweetness, the story could be red, all sorts of stories you can apply to this. It could be as simple as I just wanted to photograph myself with fruit, okay? <clears throat> So, notice the makeup. This makeup's not nearly as interesting as the last photo, but it does match the red and the seeds and the freckles, and she's doing a good job putting all these things together. Notice her eyes are green to match watermelon rinds. Uh, we've left the fruit theme. This is uh, another one of her photos. Now, this is, at this point, she's become famous, and uh, she's got quite the repertoire of work. Okay, uh, this is a flower series. I think she's exploring death and organic d decay. I don't know. Okay, some more of her photos. Uh, her makeup in this one is pretty photoshopped if you look closely. Okay, more of her photos. Now, she did something new in the past couple years and that is photographed with other people in her photos. Okay, you'll see that here in a second. But these here, uh, sorry, Christina Otero. Whoop, there it is right there at the bottom. Okay, again, this is all the same person in her own studio photographing herself, okay? You can see the complexity of story and of makeup and of lighting 
in Photoshop. So this is the first time, by the way, uh, she's had someone other than herself in her photos and then published it. Okay, and that is her, by the way, just looking normal. Uh, I believe that is homage to Cindy Sherman, another photographer, but we'll learn about her next semester. Okay. So that is an example of what you can do if you uh, take the time to really set up the photos. All right, guys. Uh, good luck. Enjoy the demo starting now. Okay, for this to work, I'm going to set this camera up over here, and you're going to see me do my photography process over here. I'm going to set up lights. I'm going to set up my camera, and I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures. A couple things I would keep in mind on my camera. So, you have a timer on your camera. So I'm going to go ahead, bring this up. It's going to be up here at the top. It's going to look like a little clock. I'm going to click that here. I'm going to do the 10 second timer. The 10 second timer is going to give me plenty of time to get situated and look at the camera, get my props all put together. Typically, if I push take a picture, it's going to give me a countdown on that side. Also, there's a countdown on this side. So it's going to help me really know when I'm taking that picture. A traditional selfie, very fun. Also takes a bunch of them. Oh, that's not what a, the assignment is. So <clears throat> again, I'm going to set the lights. I'm going to set up myself, set up my camera on the timer, and I'm going to start taking photos. Good luck. Hey, kids. A tasty burger, burger, burger. Time to edit these. All right, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and edit these on my phone. You may follow along with me. So Let's turn on screen record. Here we go. So these are the photos I got. Different compositions. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's make this a little better. Okay. I like this one more because it's closer to my head. So I'm going to go ahead, hit select. Took about a million of them. Hit done. Uh, keep only one favorite. Perfect. Okay. That one's terrible. Big old elbow. There we go. Select. This one here. Done. <clears throat> keep only one favorite. Okay, so those are the two I'm going to edit. We're just going to do select, get rid of this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, this one. Get rid of those. Delete. Oh gosh, that's 41 photos. Okay, so here we go. Let's edit these. So one way to edit would be just to go into my phone here. And I can pick color. Oh, I kind of like that one there. Okay. Some adjustments. Here we are. Exposure. Yep, that looks good. Highlights. I'm going to bring the highlights up a little bit so it looks like there's a computer screen pouring light onto my face. Contrast. I'm going to increase the contrast just ever so slightly. Brightness. All right, guys, take a look here. These are the final images. Uh, one is unedited, one is edited. The goal with the edited one was to help illuminate the computer screen, make it look like I was stressed out and burdened by the workload was what I was after. Again, this is an iPhone 7 with a little bit of spotlight and uh, on self timer with the phone and just editing with the basic phone uh, software. So good luck guys. Can't wait to see your unselfie selfies. Have fun.